What's up guys, today I'm going to be telling you all about mantis shrimp, how to care for them, and I'm even going to tell you guys where I got mine and where you can get one yourself. So to start off, I need to clarify what a mantis shrimp is. It's actually not a type of shrimp, it is a stomatopod, which is an ancient group of marine predators that are distantly related to other crustaceans such as crabs and lobsters, but these guys have been around for 350 million years and they are really badass. Most of them can be found in marine tropical waters like really close to the shore, but there's actually a few species that can be found just out in the open seas and are actually tolerant of cold water too. Recently, these guys are becoming really popular as pets. I mean, you guys see that I have one. I have a peacock mantis shrimp, which is, in my opinion, the most pretty one. But I mean, there are some crazy kinds of mantis shrimp. There are actually 500 species of these guys, and 40 of them are sold in the aquarium hobby. But uh, a lot of them, people will just get on live rock as hitchhikers, and they can actually destroy your reef tanks. And if you talk to any experienced reefer, they'll tell you that they hate mantis shrimp, but uh, I love these guys. So there are two types of mantis shrimp, spearing and smashing mantis shrimp. The difference between these guys is their appendages. So the spearing mantis has these sword-like appendages that come out from its mouth that it uses to stab its prey. And it eats things like fish and other soft-bodied prey that it can just stab and then take down with it. The smashing mantis shrimp have clubs that come out from their mouth. And they look like they come out from its arms, but they're actually a part of its mouth. It's called a raptorial appendage. But they basically have these clubs that they use to punch the shit out of their prey. And they'll just break stuff open like crabs, hermit crabs, snails, crayfish. And that's the type that I have. Peacock mantis shrimp have clubs. And I feed this guy everything. He is an absolute beast. He just tears stuff up. And I mean, he's also just so pretty. I mean, look at the patterns on him. Really just an amazing pet. Definitely my favorite pet that I have ever kept in my life. So now for the care portion of the video, this is what you need to do and what you need to watch out for if you're going to keep a mantis shrimp in your aquarium. First thing is first, food. These guys are really finicky eaters. My mantis shrimp in particular will not accept freeze-dried krill or freeze-dried anything for that matter. It needs to either be frozen, as in frozen clams on the half shell. Every once in a while, he'll eat some frozen krill just as a little treat. But uh, he's not the type of thing that will or the type of animal that will eat the same meal over and over again. Because in the wild, they are opportunistic predators and they go for a lot of different things. So you need to vary their diet. Not only that, you have to feed them live food. Uh, hunting is like the biggest thing in the mantis shrimp world. Like, not only would you not get a mantis shrimp to not feed it live food, like that just wouldn't make sense. But uh, these guys are not going to be happy unless they are going out and hunting and punching the shit out of their prey because that is what they love to do. They will literally go around and punch rocks and break off rocks just because they're bored and they have nothing to do. And of course, you would never want to keep anything with a mantis shrimp because it will eat it. Not only that, it will eat fish too. I know I said that uh, clubbing or not clubbing, but uh, punching mantis shrimp will not uh, go for fish, but they will. Mine has eaten goldfish. You can click that link above. It's a video of him eating goldfish. It's pretty cool. Uh, or you can see him uh, eating crayfish uh, up there too. But this guy will basically eat anything that's in the tank with him as long as it is live and not freeze-dried or frozen. Frozen is like, mm, sometimes he'll eat it, sometimes you won't. And then I'll have to go out and buy him something or catch him something. What I like to do is I like to go to my local pond where there are crayfish that just breed out of control and they're invasive. And I'll catch those guys and I will feed them to my mantis shrimp and he absolutely loves it. Not only that, crayfish are freshwater species so any parasites that these wild feeders have are not going to be able to survive when I bring them over into a 1.025 uh, salinity saltwater aquarium where my mantis shrimp lives. One big problem that's basically unavoidable when you have a mantis shrimp is when you do live feedings it's going to nuke the tank like it will get crucified 
So what I have him in is a Fluval Flex, and lucky for me, this tank actually has a sump on the back of it. So what I have is an insane amount of filter material, and I have a lot of live rock in there. I have a lot of live sand in there, and so I have insane amounts of bacterial colonies that can just eat up that nitrate that's produced. But even so, you're going to have to do regular water changes. You need your nitrates at 10 parts per million or lower, or the mantis shrimp will not thrive and he might even die if he goes through a molt and his shell of armor is not so strong my mantis shrimp actually did just recently molt you guys will get to see that in an upcoming video make sure you stay tuned okay guys so if you're anything like me you want to know where can i get one of these myself i have found a few sites that are reliable that you can get one from and let's get right into it Okay, so the first site I have is Blue Zoo Aquatics. Um, I haven't actually ordered from here myself, but I've looked at a lot of forums and I was actually thinking about buying a mantis shrimp through here. Uh, these guys seem really trustworthy. They seem really reliable. They have all kinds of different mantis shrimp, all kinds of reviews. They have a lot of good uh, information in the description about the mantis shrimp that you're going to get. And they have, I think, six or seven different species that you guys will see uh, as we go. The next site I have is Salty Bottom Reef Company. I have actually ordered from these guys myself. I bought a Squilla Mantis Shrimp from these guys, uh, I think two years ago, uh, a, while, a while ago, uh, way before I was doing YouTube. And ultimately I had to give this guy up to a pet store because I ran out of space a while back, but they are an awesome site. They have a really good team on customer service. They're based out of Florida, so they can only get you these two types of mantis shrimp. They have the Wenneray and they have the Squilla. The Wenneray is going to be a really, really small smasher mantis shrimp. And then the Squilla is a stabbing mantis shrimp. The third place I found is That Pet Place. Uh, these guys, I'm not sure where they're based out of, but they have really good reviews on all their mantis shrimp. And not only that, they have a lot of different species that you don't usually see. Uh, you see they have the peacocks of all different size. They have the chicagra. And they have a lot of other ones like the orange mantis shrimp. I don't know what they call it. I think they call it a uh, xylatia, something like that. Uh, but they have a lot of cool different ones that you can order from. These guys seem to be a really reliable place to get from too. The last place should come as no surprise, Live Aquaria, super reliable, great site, they have all kinds of different stuff. The one problem with this site though is that they have been out of mantis shrimp for the last year and I also had a buddy on Reddit tell me that he ordered a peacock mantis shrimp and got sent a smithy mantis shrimp, which is another type, a little bit smaller version, which is still great. Uh, they're a cool, really cool creature, but you know, if you're going to pay $80 for a mantis shrimp, you want your peacock, so be careful of that. The last place is Arizona Aquatic Gardens. Do not buy from here. I repeat, do not buy from here. If you actually go and buy from this site after I'm telling you this, I, I don't know what to tell you. These guys are literal scammers. You'll pay $80 to $100 for your mantis shrimp, maybe even more with the shipping, and they will straight up just not reply to you. They will either send you something that's completely different, like some like $20 pistol shrimp, or I, who knows, maybe they even send you like a sexy shrimp. Maybe they even send you a ghost shrimp. I really don't know what these guys, whatever you do, do not buy from them. I know their site looks amazing, it looks trustworthy, but that is what scammers like to do. They want to make you feel like they are the best option, and then once you send them your money, you are screwed. So... I hope that helped you guys with where to get a mantis shrimp. I hope that video also helped you with what a mantis shrimp is, how to care for one. And if you want to see more videos on mantis shrimp, I have some insane videos on my channel. Uh, feel free to take a look at those. And I'm out.